All right. Head over purples first. So yeah, again, you got the finisher, Resonant Beat, which is a guaranteed reduction to Aura, which can follow up into Rhythmic Arc and any number of other things. Got the Migrant for potential surprise attack. Looks like Glancing is getting mauled, maybe. Yeah, mauled getting only Glancing Strike. Wants it late in the game, makes sense. Got the staples of Swing Rush, Glancing, Light, Song and Dance. Rabbit Step is kind of a given against Ryra almost, because Ryra is going to want to get in that range. And yeah, Hilt Slam is decent here also. I think overall I don't really have any problems with uh, Purple's deck, and looks like uh, Maddox has a very specific game plan, of which you're aware. Yeah, I think one of the strengths of Kanae Raida is they can build heavily towards trying to kill you and trying to uh, finish the story. And if you kind of predict the wrong side in deck building, you're already at a huge disadvantage. So it looks like uh, Purple has had sort of um, hedged a bit, which makes sense. But it does make it tough. If you just call the rock, paper, scissors right, you're advantaged. If you call it wrong, you're disadvantaged. Yeah, I think you have to do, in any case, I think you have to do everything you can to try and end the game quickly against Kane. Yeah. And that looks like what Purple's trying to do. I'm interested to see the game plan for Worlds of Stage. Probably swapping out Roar, maybe, and... Well, who knows. Actually, being able to read... Oh, you can't put it. It's only attacks. Okay. And performance already... Composition already goes onto the bottom. Yeah, what attack are you trying to hit with Claws of Regrowth? Oh, that's probably something that's going to get swapped in with Worlds of Stage. Okay. I can see that. And then you have Wind and Thunder to potentially redraw your performance. Seems strong. performance. This is probably going to be the play of throughout card slot. Although he did choose to do this as a throughout, which means he might, or as an all-out, means he might be not so anxious to play a throughout next turn. Nope. Yep. The flinch is just very nice against Tokoyo in general, too. That's true. She got some resistance to it with Sunny Stage, but it looks like Purple didn't bring that today. does have Song and Dance, which helps slightly, and it would be worse if he was running Perpetual Wind, but he's not. Perpetual Wind would also kind of slow down Maddox's game plan, though. So What does the uh, last special of Purple? Uh, Eternal Migrant, the 2-2 two -two uh -huh. reshuffle your deck after attack. I think that one is range 3-4. to four. Yep. Mm. Yeah, purple searching for what throughout attack he possibly expect from Matix or throughout card rather. The only other option there is pounce, which seems unlikely. Uh, 
And that's going to be another flint. <laughs> yes. Yeah, exactly. Adds up really quick. Also, not having any enhancements in his deck, Purple can't shed his aura very quickly to advance faster. So Maddox is going to have a fair bit of time. Yeah, that is something I'm worried about. In fact, I because of that, I don't think Pounce is actually that unreasonable. Oh, yeah, just the range it's locking? Kind of, yeah, it's kind of hard for Tokoyo Sine to move forward in general. I guess you could silent wall your own aura away is one solution, but then you're giving um, them an opportunity. You could also do some shenanigans with Windy Stage. Yeah, that too. The sadness of discarding glancing, but yeah, it, that's reasonable. I don't think he's being going to get to two. Gotta... Not going to get to two vigor anytime soon. The way this has been going. All right, so now we're probably seeing composition into arrow effect into wind run. Our composition into a life damage one since. Purple going to resolve next turn. Mm. Oh, yep. You called that. <laughs> like, <laughs> I mean, yeah. yeah we got the performance and then the composition bag. Get the gauge. Yeah. Oh, the lasers is... reshuffle by turn, you see? So choose. What is the card that Matex chose to put at the top of the deck? Um, performance. Ah, I see. So two plot recovers next turn. Oh wait, yep, and then he's gonna take the uh, composition back on bottom. Okay. The act is red, so he can censor whatever he wants here. Oh, okay. I guess this is for the purpose of deciding what he wants to censor. Doesn't even really have to censor this turn. No, and yeah, one range is going to be very difficult to do anything with with one vigor. Okay, looks like he's opting for it. I guess he he can't censor any normal. It's just uh, attacks, right? No, he can censor any uh, normal. No, it's any normal. Wow, okay, so probably rabbit step? Nope, glancing. I, I think a rabbit step would have made more sense, but it seems he chose in glancing. Oh yeah, he just realized he can name all normals. He's going to change that. Nope. Oh. There it is. Yeah. I really like this play. Getting down to one with rabbit step locked. Yeah, nothing about this feels good from Herbal's position. Mm -hmm. Well, 
Well, this gives him an option to shed his own aura, so if he so chooses. I'm just making a bunch of uh, backwards movement. It's true. It's not, it's, not, it's not great, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. And he did draw the swing rush, so... Matix is on, no cards in hand, no flare. He is an open book. Not many reactions available to his pair in the first place, but... Mm -hmm. there, there, there certainly are some. Yeah, Improvise doesn't really work with Ryra too well either, not thinking on it, because Ryra's ranges are so limited. So yeah, the most aggressive play you can make here is just to discard everything but Swing Rush and dump all your aura down to one. And Swing Rush from four, but that maybe... Would yeah, I, I mean, if you want to get really aggressive, you could have actually played Resonant Beat there, but <laughs> that doesn't sound great either. Oh yeah, you could you could Resonant Beat well, yeah. and then go into, uh, go into Migrant off of that. Yeah. But Migranting with... An almost full deck is also not great. You could do Migrant last if you played all your other attacks, though. So, this makes sense because he has the life-changing thing. Worked so hard to get two cards back in his deck, it doesn't even use mm. He did change life, though, because of the reshuffle, yes. right? So, yes, exactly. That's so that's going to end... That's going to proc on Maddox's turn at the end of it. Yeah. Sorry, locked in for moving. Yeah, now you flip flip it around. What are you what are you even worried about as Maddox at this point? Hmm. That's a good question. I think the main loss condition is probably take too many hits from glancing strike. Yeah, so he 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 probably would want to flinch here because his yeah by that logic his win condition is to stop purple from getting to two vigor at all costs. Yeah, this makes a lot of sense to me. With a song and dance, two vigor is still possible, but... Actually, he discarded Polite Return earlier, right? So that's not on the yep. deck. Oh, uh... Did Maddox take a basic action just now from the story advance? Yep, focusing one. Oh, yeah, he focused. All right. Ooh, drew the rabbit step, but not the... Wait, sorry, I was thinking, I was thinking Song and Dance, not Rabbit Step. Mm -hmm. So the last two cards are, in fact, um, Song and Dance and Glancing Strike, then. I believe that to be the case. Um... 
Yeah, you might not even care about rabbit stepping here. You haven't seen any attacks from Yay. from Maddox at all, and your Probably aura not. is just a liability. That rapid step is probably better as a backwards movement than as a double backing. Is there a way he can get to hilt slam for idea? Not really. One. I mean, he'd have to pitch one of his attack. Mm. Get rid of two of his aura, but not three. At that point, maybe you just play out all your attacks. Okay. Yeah. This is looking like that might be easy. At least this way you can see how Maddox uses to respond. Mm. So taking it to Aura <laughs> means that the follow-ups are going to look better. Would have been a good place for death and rebirth, but I guess there's probably no room for that. It's hard. Only three special slots in that pick. And yeah. He could swap it back in too if he um when he once he does the world's stage. I don't think Swing Rush is ever hitting life here, but we'll see. Oh, maybe it is. That's fine. It gives you the, the resource for building Flare or backing up if he needs to. It's just he doesn't have any follow-up that would be terribly punishing yeah. if you had no aura. Ooh, that, uh, whatchamacallit, Eternal Migrant is actually a bit of a fun That's player. true. I always slip that card. <laughs> no, that, that, very... That's it, I... <laughs> I'm not actually sure I would have, like... I think the decision between life and ore there is very close. You could also focus twice in Rhythmic Arc here. But not, not especially great. Uh, against two aura, yeah. I don't like that much. Alright, but if, I he mean, had, this was if he had taken that, decent... that swing rush to aura, that could have been four life. Yep. So That's a huge cost though. Ooh. I mean, this was a decent uh turn cycle for purple. He's straightening out his play. Wow. Things you do when it's not your turn. Yeah, I, I find purple to be kind of fidgety in general in this game. I don't know if he's using a touchpad or what, but... I got a VR system. Maybe I should try playing this game in VR. I have a friend who tried that, but not went to the sense it was uh, first in beta, so... Yeah. Right. It's weird, because they, like, float, like, hovering goggles and stuff. You can see where they're looking from. I don't know how functional it would be, though. Uh, is there any special archive that Mapex can use to progress this plot this turn using Will? Ooh, not really. It would... Let me see. I... What are his specials? 
believe it's Worlds of Stage, the yeah, one that the replays a plot, yeah. action to the word. Mm. Oh, no, that's to develop a plot. Yeah, I and don't then he's got think invocation. there's any way, because he's at the trial line, yeah. maybe even if you weren't at the trial line. Four flare just doesn't seem like enough. Yeah, if it was a little bit further away, you would have had a chance at doing the distance one, right? If he had drawn Windrun, but no, I don't think you can do that here. Yeah, probably not. Uh, he can even with Windrun because the distance is right nice at 4. Mm -hmm. It has to be 5 or more distance change. Oh, he can yeah. use Worlds of Stage to add any normal he wants to his hand, though. Yeah, but the only way to progress any of these plots after that... Or, sorry, the only way to advance past the line this turn, like, actually complete a plot, would probably not work well enough with that. Just not enough resources. Oh, yeah, he's advancing. Right, he's bringing back the, the throughout. throughout one line. Curious. Oh, that's really early action to the world. Yeah, action. Because that's going to yeah. be removed, right? This should be removed now, yes. Action to the word. Because he uh, yep. prepared a completed. Oh, and Sensor can't name a normal. I mean, it technically can name a normal, it just may not be the best idea. Ah, hmm. okay, doing that for the wind gauge. When, when Beast Invocation is just such a safe way of getting past the second trial. So two throughouts. This is going to be a relatively slow plot. Yeah, and then what's he following up with? Oh, he still has the arrow effect. Yeah. The, the next two uh, plots won't be as hard as this one. This is probably the big opportunity. Oh, there's the song and dance we knew about. Yep, Putting here him at comes enough. Lansing. To the top of the deck with one, one card. card deck. <laughs> it's... I know how much purple, uh, purple hates being at one card. Oh, yeah. I mean, nobody likes it, but sometimes. <laughs> oh, okay. Ooh. Prepping for a big turn next round. Yeah, this this is good. If his opponent tries to progress the throughout plot this turn, then he's threatening, okay, you can do that, and I'll have a massive attack. <sighs> is what he's threatening, but with five aura and no cards in Purple's hand, it's still a bit tough. I guess his dream is that he pops all three of his specials at once. That would take ten aura or ten yeah. player. Yeah. Feels as Oof. if he won't really be yeah. struggling for flair. In fact, he'll be struggling to get his aura. Out. So, uh, in the place where it would go is flair. 
my text doesn't get the throughout. Nope. Not this turn, no. Yeah. That's No, it's still in his plate pile. Oh really? Well there's Oh, does he only have the one in his plate pile? Yeah. He's only got Roar. Ah. Alright, so he knew by drawing here he would never draw it. Yeah, he knew before drawing he wasn't he didn't have a chance of drawing it. Unless he had reshuffled had beforehand. Had reshuffled, yep. And even then it's a pretty low yeah, one in three. Suppose he could use, or could have used, World as a Stage to get another throughout. In this case, it would be Pounce. But then he can't play it. Yeah, not this turn. If he, if he had done it last turn, he could have no. set it up, but... Overall, the throughout plot thing seems pretty clunky. Yeah, I'm not sure if I like that decision. Redrawing sensor. I guess that makes well, sense. Setting himself up for it. Well, yeah, and you, you know that uh, purple sitting on a ton of flare, oh. so mm, you might even. There is the world. Oh, okay, so he honestly, wasn't... I think it's such a cool card, and personally, I think it's a bit weak. Yeah. I love that it exists, but unfortunately, I think it's just too difficult to use oh, properly. He is going to put the throughout in. Personally, yeah, I think I... that's strong, though, because you can yeah, get it... Afterglow, and if you can... Like, oh, its effect is very that's... strong, but costing yeah. two flare? Ah, yeah. Two flares on that draft. Right Plus, your I, opponent I do gets like to see what, matchup, you, what you bring, right? Or do they not? Uh, I... Don't yeah, yes, they do. reveal it. It's a reveal. So actually, I suppose the special is not revealed. Oh yeah, that's true. The special is face down. Yep. That the normal would be. I I do like pants in, uh in general though. Yeah, because the away from signing. Afterglow is really strong, though. All right. Yeah. This has got to be a good opportunity for uh, Purple these last couple of turns without any advancing of the plot. This is definitely his chance. Well, hmm. Maybe he builds up for one turn, because the plot's... Ah, it's, it's tough. It's tough. Because his opponent's about to play the pounce. If he builds up this turn, then he'll have to spend resources getting back in range next turn anyway. Yep, and... Losing idea by having to chase mm -hmm. Maddox down is not going to work out well yeah. for him. Yeah. Oh, no swing rush. We do have an idea hilt slam. Idea hilt slam. I think from this position, maybe you do just. Uh, wait the turn then. Like, Pounce, you have to consider the Pounce going either direction. If the Pounce goes backwards, then with four open aura slots, you can get back to four and glancing. If the Pounce goes forward, then you keep the uh, Hilt Slam ar around to get back. Mm. Yeah. I think and your own aura is not a huge factor in this matchup. 
Except for sorry, your own defenses yeah. are not a factor in this matchup. Your aura yeah. matters a lot for Zyne. My... Yeah, yeah. The uh, swing Poor rush being the big one. Yep, I think he agreed that just passing and keeping his option o options open for next turn. Yep, if uh, Maddox decides to go close, he even has resident beat as an option, so... Oh, yeah. and he does. All right. Yeah, yeah I'm not this sure is, that was the correct is... decision, but we'll see. I also agree that this is probably not the direct correct decision, but we can see the hilt slam in hand. But he yeah. also knows about rabbit step and... Uh... Purple blindfolded himself uh, in the spirit of Sine, who is in fact blind. <laughs> Anytime you play Sine, you should blindfold yourself for the whole game. Like, just be realistic. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Blindfold yourself so you can see everything. Exactly. Thank. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, this is something I can first... emphasize this time. So you got the like first throughout, and he's going to reshuffle with two throughouts out of five cards. It right. is a bit of like, okay, so I think this is a turn. I think you have to go for an aggressive something, aggressive line. This with the rapid step and the hilt slam, you're not even like out of range exactly. Oh, honestly, focusing wouldn't be a bad move here either, because then you can beat and follow up. So yeah, maybe even you maybe even discard the rabbit step focus, and then you can throw some mm, get stuff out. To three. Oh, but he's he's throwing up the hilt slam first. Yeah. With this line, you get to three. I mean, sorry, if you don't use the rabbit step, you only get to distance three comfortably. You do two master steps, and then, I, yeah, if you hilt slam, yeah. then, or sorry, if you resonant beat, then you're out to four. So the uh, hilt slam loses a lot of its potential. I mean, if he uses the rabbit step as a backwards movement instead of the... Uh, oh. We got oh. to see the resonant beat. I believe so. But is this after he's already uh, retreated twice? So this will put them to distance four, which makes some things possible. I... Hmm. This feels strange to me. Like, if he's going to do the resonant beat, shouldn't he have not retreated first? That um, would allow him to play the hilt slam as well. Yes and no. Like, he wants to... I think... I think he was concerned about... Yeah, no, because you can go to range 3 and then hilt slam, right? So you would want to be at range 1. Yeah. I think he was just focused on not spending his aura there, but that wouldn't have even been yeah. an issue. Yeah, I mean, there is, what, one attack? It's a 1-1, one, one. and if he plays that... Sorry, if your opponent plays a 1-1 one, one because you have no aura, mm -hmm. then he's not playing it throughout, which is act... Oh, so he brought in the Death and Rebirth, that makes sense. All right. That's pretty strong. Uh, it's I... less strong now, since he was already at enough wind gauge to be able to get yeah, everything we'll, he needs. We'll see what Maddox does here because the uh oh. the, he knows about the hilt really? slam. He knew about the Damn. hilt slam. Yeah. Maybe he just I mean, keeps moving guess... closer. And then this also shuts but down Rhythmic slam... Arc, right? Because after every after every attack on Rhythmic Arc he gets to change yes. the distance. It completely like makes Rhythmic Arc not a not an issue. And now that he's got said... all the wind gauge he needs. Yeah. That said, it is still a bit hard 
for him. He needs to draw throughout still, which is a two and five. It's good chances. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> <laughs> is that the conclusion? Uh, <laughs> we, we ended up with the that have... was fun. I wonder if you should have migrant done that turn or not. Mm. Yeah. And then you could have discarded rabbit step to get one more life in. With the glancing, but... Yeah. I think he's being too cautious with his own one aura. He'd, like, being at zero is fine. Oh, did his... Oh. Matix did draw a, uh... A throughout, but did not feel comfortable playing it. If he's playing it, he's going to lose, right? Yeah. Because... Uh... He's still got Death and Rebirth With for one more death time. Death and Rebirth online? Maybe not. But it is a bit scary from his position. But now Resident Beat's gone, so he can feel pretty safe if he gets his aura back to five. So and he can like open it. up this last special as well, I think. Right now, look at the reaction. <laughs> and... Oh, interesting that he's choosing this one again. Well, he doesn't know. It's very realistic for him to have that, given uh, he's been setting up for... Oh, glancing... and that's true. That would allow him to glancing strike repeatedly. <laughs> I do I do kind of feel like if Purple had this, he would have used it last turn, but mm -hmm. That said, I maybe he should have used the uh Eternal Migrant last turn too. Yeah. So this is a very very real game at the moment. I think the I think Matex was advantaged until the choice of the throughout. That seems like a yeah, that problem. Delayed his really plans hard by several turns. Also, uh, deck building concerns. I this this is the issue I had with the worlds of stage. If instead of bringing the worlds of stage and claw of regrowth, he just brought death and rebirth and pounce to begin with, he'd exactly. be in much better shape. I think the only reason you bring the worlds oh, of no, stage is to get to be able to see what your opponent is bringing before you make any adjustments. Yeah. Like you get more information into your deck building process sort of that but way but claw of regrowth in particular like it had the no rest targets. of his deck is yeah it yeah it's it's not set up to deal damage it's not set up to have attacks claw of regrowth is never correct no. I the think. the only card I think he there had are that, other that claw of regrowth could even hit was composition which already puts itself on the bottom of the deck yeah, it already puts itself away. <laughs> i'm not even sure why it's there other than to be a 2-1 yeah Maybe he is thinking, like, there's a chance that he switched off the story win and took an attack but uh, with the world's a stage, but I, I don't really like that. Wow, I'm getting called out. <laughs> <laughs> Still, well, I do think purple is advanced now. This game's not over. Not by a long shot. Once... Once death and rebirth passes on Purple's turn, he mm -hmm. has, has pretty strong position here. Yeah. And Maddox is a long way from winning this game. I think uh... once this plot finishes, the next two plots will be pretty fast. Yep, he's got the, the wind beast invocation is... to get the last one. Mm -hmm. And the other two will be Fairly trivial, I think. But that's still going to be one. a minimum of... Oh, yeah, the other one. You're right. But still, yeah. that gives, I think, Purple plenty of turns to try and yep. break through the aura and finish it. And it doesn't seem like he has that many options against Glancing Strike either. So just drawing Glancing Strike and playing it, even without putting it back on top, is a third of his remaining. 
purple, probably opting for the reshuffle on his next turn. There it is. There's the pounce back down to zero. Yeah. At that the point is a you, lover, your opponent fighter. goes to zero, you definitely reshuffle here. Yeah, I don't know about the pounces forward. Pounce backward felt strong. Right, because then Sine has the double problem of having to mm -hmm. move forward and purge aura. And at this point, and then like the clear. first one, the first pounce for uh, backwards, your opponent can just walk forward, and he won't have idea. But the second pounce forward, that's a big problem. Mm -hmm. Or sorry, the second pounce yeah, backward. Yeah. Minus. Plus, it's it should be clear at this point that thematics that purple isn't yeah. running any enhancements. I think he's probably seen every card. Not like running that. any enhancement. Uh, he has not seen pol uh, glance polite return. I think. Oh, that's true, because so it's just never been relevant. There is one card he hasn't seen. Has he seen Song and Dance, actually, now that I think about it? Yes, he's played Song and Dance at least once. He has seen Yeah. I'm sure he hasn't seen Polite Return, but I wasn't sure about anything. But yeah, he has Hilt Slam, Song and Dance, and Rabbit Step going backwards, but nothing really going forward. So you Rabbit Step here, you can for sure hit life is, with... Is this Slipple? Um... um... Let's see. Yeah, no, he's got enough rhythmic Lethal? arc. I think it very well may be because the. Uh... Yeah, you have to take at least one of these to aura, otherwise you're just dead to the glance. And death and rebirth is gone. Yep. <laughs> the sack gone. Wow. Seeing some hubris come out. Oh, takes both. Yeah. yeah well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the sudden confession of love. You better with all the video recording and editing I'm doing. <laughs> What? <laughs> Finally, really? I I kind of like his team. I think it's pretty strong. But yeah, that I think <laughs> I think the big decision was the threat special, and probably also bringing the world.